What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Andre King coming at you today with the real. Actually, it's your boy VA Scratch King coming at you today. What you doing, man? It's my channel. But we're the same person, man. Hey, yeah. I guess, man. Well, go ahead, man. If you got it, psh, go ahead and finish the video. Well, I guess that he's gone. Psh, we can have some fun now, so let's go ahead and get right down to it. So here we are in Filmora X blank project that we have open here we're going to go ahead and drop in that raw footage of the file that we of course saw previewed there in the intro you can do that by clicking on file hovering over import media and clicking on import media files to bring in one or more files and as you can see on windows control plus the i key is the shortcut but for just one simple file what i like to do is simply drag it down to the timeline and it'll bring it right on in. If we'd have dropped it here in our folder, we'd have to drag it down here. So eliminate one step there. And let's go ahead and preview that file. And the playhead is at the end of this, so we can hit the stop button to bring it back. And let's go ahead and see what we're gonna be working with today, the raw footage. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Andre King coming at you today with the real. What you doing, man? It's my channel. Hey, I guess, man. Well, go ahead, man. If you got it, go ahead and finish the video. Actually, it's your boy, VA Scratch King, coming at you today. But we're the same person, man. Yeah. Well, I guess that he's gone. Psh, we can have some fun now, so let's go ahead and get right down to it. How did we get a clip as crazy looking as that to end up just as you saw there in the beginning, a little 20 second clip? Well, we're gonna get into that in this video, but first let's go ahead and talk about the method that we're gonna be using today. The focus of today's video is to show and demonstrate the masking effect here in Filmora. If this is your very first time hearing about masking, then let me go ahead and tell you what Video Maker defines it as. Masking is a tool in a post that allows you to target effects to a specific area or section of your video clip. It also allows you to cut out something or even place something on top of your video. That means if you want to combine two clips into one, you actually can do that. You just have to mask the videos. So that's actually, again, the technique that we're going to be demonstrating here today. But before we do that, I actually want to give three tips again for this clip here. Tip number one is again, if we go back to the beginning, you'll notice that character number one stayed to the left side. Kind of didn't cross the line there. Zoom out just a bit. Whereas the second character came in and stayed on the right side. So you actually didn't see it here. But again, this is just the wall and underneath that actually this is the line that was used to keep them both on their respective side tip number two is you see a lot of gaps here we zoomed out quite a bit but this is for the most part to ensure that if there is kind of some audio that's going to be off and you need to fast forward or slow down a certain segment then it doesn't get to be too crazy there and tip number three is actually to ensure that whatever recording device you're using, a camera or a phone or something else, that you kind of remove as much auto as you can, auto brightness, auto focus, auto illumine, auto anything. I know that wasn't a word. But again, for the purpose of this video, we actually left that in. Just in case you cannot get that right, we're gonna show you how to kind of think outside the box and correct that issue. But now that we've kind of got that background knowledge underneath our belts, let's go ahead and get right into today's video. So what we're going to do here again, go right back to the beginning and we're going to find that sweet spot where character number one kind of exits and we'll leave a little bit of space after that. We're going to go ahead and split that clip by clicking on the scissors here and we'll do the same with the second part where the second character enters there you see. Leave a little bit of space right before it and select that. 
And again, to delete or remove a clip, you can click on the delete button or right click, come up to delete and of course do that. Now we're gonna actually drag this second clip here from our split file up above track number one. And this is gonna automatically create a second video track. Now what we need to do here is to actually come up to effects, come on down to include it and expand that, going over to utility. And this image mask here is really gonna be the star of today's show and drag that right on top of that track that's on top. You can see there we got a circle that's masking everything outside of that shape out. And so again, that definition, that's kind of what it's doing. But as you can see, we're not able to see the track underneath it. Well, we can now. <laughs> so how do we kind of get the effect that we want? Well, let's go ahead and double click on that top file to open up, of course, our video editing options here. Let's go ahead and minimize chroma key, deselect video effects, and let's go ahead and uh, place another box here. And we'll kind of allow you to see a little bit more. But really what we want to do, we have these preset masks and we want to find, you can find any shape, but let's go ahead and find this square. And if we double click on that, you'll see that it's actually masking out the right side. We actually, since we're on the right, want to keep that there. So let's place a checkbox in this invert mask. And of course with this X axis here, let's go ahead and slide this on over to the left and right about there as you can see now we can see both and like we said you can notice the background just slightly has a little bit of an issue there so we did that on purpose and we'll correct that in a wee bit so now if we click on okay we got that just about right so if we were to just without playing the audio just skip ahead a few and just to show you can see now achieve that desired effect so now again, what we wanna to do to line that audio up where the character number two on the right comes into play, we can just place our playhead right there and zoom in just a bit. And just to give it a crack on our first shot, let's go ahead and try to guess, drag in that clip so that they kind of start talking right as character number one finishes. And let's see how close we came with this one. Coming at you today with the real, actually it's your boy. So again, eh, the audio and the video singing looks to be about right. Uh, maybe we could slide it like a millisecond or something there, but I think that's pretty good. So now our next problem that we gonna need to fix is actually when character number one leaves, the masking is still applied here. So let's go ahead and uh, bring our playhead back. And let's see if we can work that one out just a bit. All right, let's go ahead and try to find the exact spot where he leaves and there we go all right so now let's click on the second track hit split hit delete now let's click on the first track let's split it right there let's go ahead and double click again and for the rest of this we can go full screen we can go ahead and remove that mask actually here seeing if you're paying attention <laughs> so let's go ahead and uh go back a few seconds and let's see does that look smooth? All right, so we kind of spotted a problem there. We of course know that we have this issue here with the colors in the background. So let's go ahead and apply that fix first. So the way that we're gonna do that is to, of course, we're right here underneath effects. Let's see if we can find a LUT or something there. Well, it looks like we got something here with these lines. So let's go ahead and uh, drag that one on over. And let's uh, bring that one right back to where track one starts. See if we can get it right. Zoom out just a bit and let's drag that all the way over until of course we exit the bottom. Zoom in just a wee bit, zoom out and let's try to get this one perfect there. All right, let's zoom in just a little bit more. All right, it looks to be 
right about right okay so now let's go ahead and go back and play with that x-axis and try to line that line up let's see if we can get that one right right there to see if we can show it underneath yeah, about perfect all right let's go ahead and play this one back one more time So again, some more tinkering there, a little bit too soon. So let's go ahead and see if we can get that to be right when he comes in. That way someone's for a split second is not wondering what the heck are those lines for? All right, maybe right here. One more. All right, there we go. Let's go ahead and get rid of that clip. Hit delete again. And we may need to slide this video track back just a slight bit. Same with this. Or we could delay it just ever so slightly. Let's go ahead and see how that looks. Looks a little bit more smooth. All right, let's go ahead and fix this up. And uh, looks like we might almost be there. All right, zoom out again. Let's play that segment right back. And again, these are just the minor tweaks you gotta make post edit. Okay, there we go. But masking, as you can see, is one of those tools that may not be used each and every video, but it's a very effective tool when applied to a certain situation. And Wondershare for more has so many options that, of course, as you saw here today, can just make it so easy. So if you enjoyed this video today, then go ahead, drop a comment down below and let me know what your favorite part was. We're definitely going to get into this film more thing even more in the upcoming weeks. And I definitely hope to see you back here next week. <laughs> How are you doing? <laughs> Yo, what we doing underneath the kitchen counter? Oh, relax. <laughs> <laughs>